Okay, so uh, I'm going to be giving a brief uh, demonstration and introduction to the uh, light meter, the light core light meter, which is a lot more intuitive than the uh, older version of the data logger. So if you look here, when you open up the box, you're going to see basically three things. You have the light meter, you're going to have this sensor over here, which is the quantum sensor, and uh, this sensor as well, which is your pyranometer. Your first sensor, your quantum sensor, take it out here. Um, is has a blue label on the side and it says quantum. This stands, uh, this measures basically PAR, which is photosynthetically active radiation. So basically from 400 to 700 nanometers. And it measures radiation in micromolar per, uh, per second meter squared. So um, but there's also a manual associated with that if you'd like to use it. Your other sensor you have is for uh, a broader range of uh, measurements. It's your pyranometer. So as you can see, it's red. It says pyranometer on the side. This measures a broader spectrum, basically from 400 to 1100 nanometers. So not just photosynthetically active radiation, but all solar radiation. Something also to mention, this takes AA batteries. So uh, simply just use a Phillips head screwdriver and, uh, to replace the batteries if you'd like. And there is a U uh, micro USB port with a USB adapter for uh, charging while taking measurements. But so what you have here, when you first turn it on, you should see a main menu like this. If you press menu, you're brought to, uh, from the main menu here, if you see the first option is sensors, uh, there's not much you really should have to be doing on this unless there's a new sensor that's purchased for the lab. Right now you already can see they have the pyranometer as well as the quantum meter. Um, basically what this is, is it has the multiplier value as well as the calibration device or calibration date specifically for when uh, that uh, unit was calibrated. Next you can see configurations. Uh, once again there's really not a whole lot to do with this as this has already been set up. There's only one option right now, it's pyranoquantum and this is for simultaneous measurements of using both the pyranometer and the quantum sensor. You can see there's two inputs. Uh, one thing to note, you want to be sure that you have your quantum sensor on input one and your pyranometer set up on input two. Yep. Your inputs are obviously one, two, and three. So uh, for right now, until we get something else for the lab, you only have uh, two sensors. Uh, your input one is your quantum sensor. Input two is your qu uh, pyranometer. So uh, also on that configuration, uh, something important to note, it's set to the standard sample rate of one hertz and uh, with a continual uh, reading. So essentially it will read across the spectrum and then it will average across every one second. Next, you can go to data. This is where you can actually physically view all files that you have already stored, uh, as well as open new files and name them. Okay. So, uh, in terms of using the data logger, if you would like to uh, take um, uh, readings where you're actually logging, so it's uh, pretty simple to attach them. You just rotate it up. And then these have caps on them, so you obviously would like to remove the cap. Okay, so uh, to log, once again, we're going to press menu, go to configurations. Make sure that your uh, proper configuration is in fact set up. If you have a little star here, then that means that that is the uh, default configuration, which as of right now, there's not really need to. We only have one. You would uh, simply press on the down arrow, go to your desired configuration, and then press OK three times, and it will assign you a new configuration. Once you've done that, you're going to press exit go back to your home screen and then in order to start logging you're simply going to press start. From here you're going to select a new file or existing file that you'd like to actually run the data on. So uh, for this we'll say new file. You would name the file, uh, press OK and then it would, it would start logging. Uh, I'm not going to do it for now but uh, the status should change from not logging to obviously logging. In terms of instantaneous readings you can actually see that this is already taking uh, measurements. So uh, I have the sensor here. Instantaneous readings, you would simply just set the device down and you can take your measurements uh, directly from the screen. Okay, so uh, then when you're done with the device, you wanna make sure that you actually uh, remove all the ports, power it off by simply pressing the power button. And then when you're putting away um, the sensors, you want to make sure you put the red caps back on them.